glória, que coisa mais linda, mais cheia de graça, é a minha vida que tem passa. Hello. Today, uh, as you know who I am, I'm Darren with um, Retail SEO, also the Coffee Bean and SEO Show. Uh, I'm also a lover of Bossa Nova, so you'll hear some Bossa Nova music in the background as we do some keyword research. Go ahead and go over uh, what is keyword research, uh, some keyword research tools, and um, just general overall, man, how to uh, how to put it all together. So. Um, Let's sit back and let's uh, let's listen to the sounds of of the girl from Ipanema and uh, some other bossa nova, some light jazz, and this late evening. So, uh, all right. Okay. Okay. So I'm a member of a group, and uh, let me turn this down a little bit. I'm a member of a blogging group, and I offered um, offered to give some help to some of the people in there who are non-professional SEO people. And um, they're just general bloggers. I'm not, not saying just general bloggers, but they blog. And uh, they're building up you know, affiliate blogs, things like that. And they wanted to know how to, um, how to get some keyword research done. So without you know, paying, for, paying for some real expensive SEO tools. So I offered and said, okay, hey, let's, um, let me see what I can do. So we're, I offered again, you know, so there we go. So um, let me see, kind of pull up the screen. One of the, um, I asked, I'd asked the lady, that's one of the ladies in the group, uh, has she, was she interested in, let me, let me just one second, something's going on. So stop. And let me try to reshare this again. Okay. All right. Okay, there it is. I asked one of the ladies in the group. Uh, well, they said, "Hey, you know, are you, you know, is there anything in particular, anything in particular, any products in particular you'd like for me to do some keyword research on?" And um, she said, "Well, you know, hey, can we do uh, pampering products or facial masks or face masks?" Uh, and I assume that it's, that Susie, I assume that it's a beauty product that she's talking about, not football face mask. Or um, if I am assuming wrong. And hey, sorry, but we're gonna put together some stuff for uh, for face masks uh, for uh, as far as cosmetic in the cosmetic area and uh, pampering products for cosmetic area. Uh, the tools we're going to use today are uh, Google Keyword Planner. Uh, we're going to use Uber Suggest. Let's see, I'm going to type this down. And we're going to use Google. Keyword planner. I'm going to use Uber Suggest. Let me see if I can make this larger. Let's see. Hold on, this is what I'll do. I'll pull up a Word doc, make it a little larger. Let's see. <laughs> There you go. You get to see uh, one of the papers, one of the articles that we have written for uh, one of our sites. Um, one of our sites and it talks about um, online classes. So you got to see that. So let's see if I can shrink that down. Let's see. Anyway, oh, well, we'll, we'll worry about that later, man. All right, so we're gonna use Google. Keyword planner. 
We're going to use Uber Suggest, which is Neil Patel's tool. Uber Suggest. Uh, we're going to use the Bing Auto Suggest. We're going to use a Google Auto Suggest. We say we're going to use YouTube. We're going to use uh, keywords. Shitter. <laughs> I like calling this keyword shitter. Uh -huh. We're going to use keywords. Everywhere. Okay. So as you can see, and we're also going to store everything in a Google Sheet. Let's see what I'm going to say. For storage. A tool is only as good as the person who's using the tool. So let's hope today that I'm doing a good job at using these tools. So <laughs> I'm going to go to sheets.google.com. And this is where we're going to create a spreadsheet for our keywords. Now we're going to make the assumption you see that these are this is for a brand new website. Uh, the reason why we're going to assume a brand new website is um, it's one she said she said hey you know I have a, a brand new website <laughs> I have a brand new website that I uh, I'm putting together and uh, they wanted us to kind of want to ask people in the group to take a look at it. So we took a look at it and uh, kind of gave her some advice, opinions, etc. Uh, on the site, so I'm assume that this is a um, this is for a brand new site. Uh, we're also going to um, because it's for a brand new site. Um, let me see, I'm going to do something else now because it's for a brand new site. Uh, we're going to let's see. Yeah, because it's for a brand new site. Um, we're going to stay long tail keywords. Now, the reason why we say long tail keywords instead of short long tail keywords are keywords that are more than three words or more than two words. As an example, I uh, would be, let me see, a keyword would be, for example, of a um, short tail or a, a seed keyword. would be <laughs> apples or apples. Uh, then we'd say a modifier would be best, good, would be color. So let's say yellow. Red, <laughs> green. Okay, and then long tail. Make this larger. Long tail. Be best. Best top, let's see, 
Awesome. Now I'm just saying I'm asking add these on words as modifiers. So an example of you have to forgive my type and I'm looking sideways of a long tail keyword. would be best yellow apples or best awesome you see the um, best yellow apples to eat. Uh, another one would be, let's say, best yellow apples to eat with dinner. So the longer tail you get, the more the more specific keyword you get, or the longer you know, the longer tail. You know, these are short tail. So the longer tail that you get with keyword would be, um, that's kind of the more specific that you are. And that's, uh, even though there might not be a lot of search volume in there, uh, what you do, uh, what you can look at is add up your, uh, your searches. So let's say, for example, we have a, um, we have long tail keywords that say yellow apples uh, is, let's say of medium to high difficulty. So, and then obviously the longer the tail, the keyword, generally the difficulty, level of difficulty goes down because fewer people are gonna be putting in an individual search or a search that specific. So let's say this is a uh, best yellow apples. Let's say this is a uh, medium. I just got it. Best you up to eat. Medium difficulty. Best. Yes, and this would be low difficulty. Okay. Now I'm gonna see if I can invite somebody. See if Adrian wants to step in for the uh, for this. So hang on just a second. See if I can invite some people to come hang out, ask questions. Uh, okay. Adrian is a guy that works with me at Retail, so, which is my company. I hate that I can't shrink this, man. This is really bothering me. Let's see. No. Anyway, oh well. <laughs> Let's see, hold on, Adrian just hit me back, so hang on a second. <laughs> oh, wow, he's a day behind us on social. Okay, all right, so let's go to uh, Google Keyword Planner. It's the first tool. So I'm going to type in... Google Keyword Planner. If you see, if you type it in, it'll come right up for you, Google Keyword Planner. Uh, this is a free tool that Google offers uh, to allow you, if you're an advertiser, to kind of help come up with your keywords uh, for your AdWords campaign. So uh, this right here is 
keyword research strategy planner. It doesn't cost anything to sign up for keyword planner. Uh, so you see, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this one. I'm going to sign in. Okay. Now, as you can see, the account's not even active, so I use it just for this tool. So, uh, if you want to get to Keyword Planner, you're going to go to Tools, and then you go to Keyword Planner, and it'll take you to a site just like page just like this. So, remember the keywords uh, keywords that we're going to be looking at uh, for her uh, in this instance. Let's see. Uh, in this instance, are going to be for what were they? Pampering mask, pampering products, and face mask. So one of the things I like to do whenever I use a Google Keyword Planner is the first thing is I look to uh, I like to look at what my competition is and see what their key what keywords they're using, and then from that point I can use it as a uh, kind of have a guide a guideline as to what keywords uh, I can look at. And right, let me show you how this works. So I'll go to pull up a tab. And I want to type in pampering products. So either one of these, she wanted to know, hey, is one more specific than the other? And really, you know, when it comes to like something like this, um, I wouldn't treat them as 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 I would treat them about the same. Uh, about the same. I mean, pampering products, face products. Uh, it kind of depends on where you are, which you know, who calls them, who calls them what. Um, so you see 11 pampering products at home, your us weekly, treat yourself to these pampering products this weekend, everything you need at home, this is in style, these are all major brand magazines, so let's go to, um, Galore Mag, and I just picked an arbitrary site so hmm. I ought to pick this one <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go here copy copying the link copying the URL I'm gonna go over here to find new keywords now I'm gonna type in pampering products And I'm gonna put in, uh, let's see, face mask. And I'm gonna put in this URL so I can look at the actual page. And what Google will do is we'll client will crawl this page and look to see what keywords are being used on this page, and it'll pump out a bunch of keywords for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click get started. And see what it kicks out. Now, generally, well, what I like to stay when I look at, you know, I'm looking at keywords, particularly for a brand new website, I want to stay high volume, low difficulty. Okay. So there you go. I shrunk down. All right. So let's go with a um, filter. Excluding adult, adult ideas, so I'm gonna search by matches low competition. I'm gonna apply, so we're gonna stay very low competition, and we're gonna sort by volume. So the average monthly searches. There you go. Okay, so these are example keywords. Uh, so you see. What we're going to do is put these into, um, we're going to add these to the Google Keyword Planner. They actually have a, um, they have a, a text sheet where we can either export it directly into, uh, into an Excel spreadsheet, um, or we can put them just in a, um, on a text, on a, um, a notepad. So I like Epsom salt uses. Um, let me see. Now, also something you need to be kind of realize or kind of understand 
is that when you're looking at a website, a web page, um, the web page has, a, you want to look at one keyword per page. And every keyword, every page has its own, has its own, um, its own purpose. Uh, it could either be a, a no purpose, I mean, when someone wants to know some information, uh, they want to do something, so they're learning about how to do something. Um, or you have a buy. So um, we'll kind of, we're going to kind of go across the board with keywords that I'm going to pick. Um, so because it's a new site, I'm not really sure. So we'll uh, kind of go from there. Let me see if anybody's popped in. Might watch me or not, man. There's nobody that's watching. Cool. So uh, let me see how to use essential oils. That's a pampering product. Pampering. I want to stay away from homemade stuff. How to make a face mask? Because I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to be trying to sell some something for affiliate. Um. How to apply a face mask. How to use a face mask. Let's see. A lot of this is homemade stuff. So DIY. Some pampered chef stuff, DIY stuff, easy face mask, um, beauty treatments. Self pampering. Again, we're looking at homemade stuff. How to make your face clear, maybe. I'll stay away from that one. Pamper yourself. No. Posh Posh, what is Pamper Chef? Again. Care for your skin. <laughs> Must buy skincare in Korea. <laughs> Halfway home. And how to face mask. Um, face mask good. And of course, you know, we're, um, we're getting our volume down pretty low. So 100 to 1000. Uh, there's still some bidding though. So this, these are still some valuable keywords. There's a posh party face mask ideas. Let's see, uh, when to use face masks. So this would be good if you wanted to use let's say adwords uh on the site so i'm not again i'm not really sure and i may stay back from grabbing keywords uh, just to kind of show you how to use the tools because i'm not really sure about the intent if it's going to be for adwords or, or what um so this is adwords adwords are where we kind of look over here to see look to the right to see kind of what the bidding range is uh, so if we were someone wanting to, to run an ad, this is what we'd pay for the bottom of the page, uh, the top of the page on low end, uh, the top of the page on the high end. So and obviously, uh, if we have a site that has uh, has these type of this type of, of articles on the site, uh, then of course the when someone we got that particular kind of traffic to the site, uh, that is what that person is going to pay um well that's kind of, that's what this advertiser would pay google uh, for that click if that makes sense best skincare brand ever look at that man. i have a website uh health body and soul where i could actually use some of this stuff so face mask for the skin face mask for so this is one tool okay so there's a lot of diy stuff on here but you really would need to sort in kind of sort sort down and let's see sort down to see what's most valuable 
And then you just sort from value, you know, sort by value all the way down. So, okay. That was strange, man. <laughs> Someone was going to call me at 11 o'clock at night, midnight at night, man. <laughs> all right. Next thing. Next tool we're going to use is a uh, Uber suggest. So we're going to go to Uber suggest. Oops, you're hearing that, man. So let's. There you go. <laughs> there you go, man. People call, People call your phone, man. Especially that's where you play your music. So Uber Suggest is a, uh, a tool by Neil Patel. It's uh, his company, uh, neilpatel.com, Uber Suggest. So you can go here to, uh, it is another keyword tool. Uh, I kind of like it. Um, not terribly. Uh, not terribly, though. Um, someone keeps calling me, so... I'm going to stop the broadcast and I'm going to restart it back up in just a few minutes. Okay, back. <laughs> All right. I don't know what was going on with that, man, but it was temporary stuff. But anyway, got it hooked up, man. Got taken care of. All right, so we use Google Keyword Planner. The next tool we're going to use is Uber Suggest. Uber Suggest is a, uh, it's a tool by Neil Patel. Uh, it's a keyword planner. It's a free tool, and uh, let me show you kind of how to use it. Now, it's it's not um, Uber Suggest is not something that is um, it's, it's something. I mean, I like to use it. I, I use it. Well, I, something I use. Uh, I would say I like to use it. Uh, something that is usable, uh, and the reason of the use I see from it is it shows you some keyword difficulty. So it gives you some suggested keywords. It's not a, um, you know, of course, it's like any free tool. It's just a tool. Uh, the tool that you're probably going to find the most value from will be a keyword shitter. And uh, we'll get to that one in just a little bit. Okay. All right. So um, this one, let's just, we're going to type in face mask. Face mask. Let's see what it kicks us out. Now, um, it's going to give us keyword ideas. My search volume is 110,000, so it's a high volume. The difficulty is a 77, which is hard. Uh, paid difficulty is 100. So if someone wanted to pay for this particular keyword to rank, uh, they want not to rank, but uh, they want it for AdWords, uh, it's going to be something ex that's expensive. So this is how we want to we want to look at long tail stuff. So again, face mask DIY face mask for acne. Uh, let's see. Let's look at this one. Face mask for acne. Let's take a look and see how difficult it is. It's going to be hard to rank for. It gives you a twenty three percent chance you can rank in the top twenty for this particular keyword. So let's go back and let's look at uh, face mask for men. It's competitive. Uh, there's a 64% chance you can rank in the top 20 with this. And that's if you use uh, with the amount of time that you use a keyword. Uh, there's a lot of other factors that go into that. But um, that kind of gives you some analysis. And you can copy this to your clipboard and you can export it to CSV. I face mask with aloe vera. Let's look at this one. Face mask, blackheads. Face mask, Japan. Face mask, L'Oreal. Face mask, natural. Face mask, dry skin. It's competitive. I bet if I type in this, so face mask or oily skin. Let's see how difficult that is. Face mask from oily skin. Best face mask for oily skin. And then 
there you go. Cool the skin and black edge. So again, you know, this is kind of some tool that will um, that'll be able to give you some ideas because really a keyword is all about the ideas. Um, so base metal for oily sensitive skin. So you could rank this within the top uh, within the top 20. So it's possible. I want to find something that's easy. You see. Let's see if we can sort it. Okay, there you go. Effective face mask for oily skin. <laughs> so you can pretty much rank for, you'd be able to rank for this one. Uh, with uh, the keyword effective face mask for oily skin. So you could write a blog post uh, about effective face mask for oily skin. Face on oily skin homemade, face mask for oily skin, and blackhead DIY. Looks like there's a lot of DIY in this space. So there you go. So again, these are some good AdWords type of keywords you could probably probably would go for. Easy to rank for, 86% chance to rank in the top 20. So there you go. All right, next tool. We're gonna use the Bing Auto Suggest. So uh, that's just easy. We're just gonna go to Bing.com and I like to use Bing because Bing is really e-commerce focused. So if someone wants to um, want to buy something online, they're usually uh, the the, uh, the type of searcher that uses Bing is someone that is primarily e-commerce focused. So let's see. Now we're gonna go here. I'm going to type in face mask. Oops, face mask. Face mask for acne, face mask recipe. And so we can see kind of the auto suggest that gives us in. And that gives us some, gives us some um, beauty. So beauty face mask. Um, it, it'll actually give us some suggestions. And so that's an example. Uh, down here we look at, um, it gives us more keyword ideas. So peel off face mask, best sleep face mask, beauty, cosmetic face mask, best facial mask for aging skin, best facial mask for women. Let's plug this one in to Neil Patel's tool. So I'm kind of showing you how to you can merge both tools together to uh, to get some to kind of come up with some keywords. So, best facial mask for aging skin. It's easy to rank for. So, this is an easy keyword to rank for. So, there you go. Uh, now we're going to use Google Auto Suggest. And it's going to work the same way as Bing, the Bing all suggests. So we're going to use face mask. And it gives us all this stuff face mask for dry skin. Let's just go to face mask. There's all kind of face masks. So uh, let's go face mask beauty because I'm pretty sure that's what she's looking at beauty. And then let's go down here. I'm gonna scroll down. Face mask Korean, face mask, best face mask, face mask Walmart. As you can see, the different um, the keywords are, uh, it's a little, a little lim more limited over here on the uh, Google side, which is why I, you know, primarily I like to use Bing. So 
has gave us some really good, really good keywords. Best facial mask uh, for women. Let's look at that one. See how difficult it is. So it's a competitive keyword. So as you can see, if we get, you know, you kind of get across the board um, with that. So, all right. There you go. <laughs> all right, the next one would be Google Trends. Google Trends shows the trend of a, a, of a topic. Uh, so let me go to Google Trends. Google Trends shows us, you know, a, overall search. So how people are searching um, and the popularity of a keyword. And it gives us some suggested topics so we can stay really topical with our search, our research. Um, so I'm going to type in again, let's type in facial mask. Mask. Facial mask search term. Let's see kind of how the, uh, the volume is coming with that facial mask. So it looks like January, it's, it's been kind of on a decline as far as the search volume. And this tells us who's searching, kind of where it's going for. There you go. So makeup brush related topics. So ready query. So Juju Volcanic Ash face mask, detox face mask, manicure mask, Korean face mask. I want, I'm starting to wonder what's up with this Korean facial mask. I mean, we're seeing this a lot of places. So let's look and see kind of. I'm just going to do a search for a Korean facial mask. It looks like it's in breakout. A lot of people are searching for it. So a good chance, it'd be a good, seems like it'd be a good keyword to try to rank for. Um, you see, it's a competitive keyword, but it's also something that a lot of people are um, are wanting, are wanting to, uh, are looking for. That's what it appears like. So, so we could do like this. We type in best Korean facial mask uh, for men. So some difficulty. Let's see what type of ideas it may kick us out. So as you see, we're kind of blending in both these tools. So best Korean facial mask for men is easy to rank for. So there you go, man. That's a nice, easy one to rank for. You get 96% chance you're ranking the top 20. So let's say you came up with a blog post and you wrote about, um, you wrote about this, I uh, wrote about this particular product for Amazon. Let's see this one right here. And you put the keyword in here for let's say best Korean facial mask for men. And you link back to this and a, a gentleman found it because it was easy to write for. So, there, there you have it. So we're able to blend in two different, a free tool with two free tools to get out some volume, get out something where we could, uh, you know, that where we could actually could possibly rank for. It. So a new website. Okay, next tool. And it looks like Korean facial mask, that's where it's at. It's in a breakout, so. All right. Okay, I was gonna go to YouTube. Let's go to YouTube really quick. YouTube. Now, why you why YouTube? Well, we can actually use YouTube as the uh, as a auto suggest tool. It's something that we really um, it's it's YouTube is is a search engine just like Google is. Uh, so we would use the auto suggest for YouTube. 
So I want to type in, let's see, Korean facial mask. The Korean facial treatment, Korean facial spa, Korean facial mask, Korean facial cleanser. So Korean facial skin skin care. So let's go to Uber Suggest and let's see. Korean facial skin care. Easy to rank for. <laughs> we found a good keyword, easy to rank for uh, in Google. Not you. <laughs> I have a uh, I have a home, and he likes to. Whenever I say the G word, he always pops up and and says something. So, so that's low search volume, um, medium difficulty, pay difficulty. And it's got some CPC behind it, so you be able to make some money, and it's in a breakout. So. All right, next one. I like this one a lot. This one's keyword jitter. We'll probably leave it there just for keyword shitter. Keyword shitter is a huge tool, man. It, it gives out a lot of keywords, so. It is really easy. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a C keyword. So let's say I like Korean facial mask. Because <laughs> that looks like that's kind of where we can go with some stuff. Korean facial mask. And this will just pump us out keyword after keyword after keyword. Let me go to shit and there it is and it's just going to keep giving us all these keywords and each one of these are long tail keywords and i'm going to stop it because now it's just giving us some stuff here we go. Pregnancy. Not this one. Clean face mask for pores. Like mask for combination skin. For redness, for blackheads. For whitening, for brightening. This one keyword. Let's go to Uber Suggest. I'm gonna put this in. Uber Suggest. And we'll see the difficulty on it. And so, as you can see, we took just these really. We've kind of grown this search from face mask to now we, we can dial in and figure out, okay, the post we're going to write about is Korean face mask. Low search volume, got some CPC in it. Um, but I think, you know, there's, I think I was, you know, I believe that I would rank for it. Um, but of course, I'm, a, I'm very confident in my skills. <laughs> so, all right. Well, there you have it. Uh, we've gone through some keyword tools. Um, get keyword everywhere. I kind of get rid of that one, man, because that's that was going to be a little more uh, involved. So we've gone through some tools: we've keyword, keyword planner, Uber Suggest, Bing Auto Suggest, Google Auto Suggest, YouTube, a keyword shitter, and we got to put in there Google. And so we talked about how you store your keywords in the Google Sheet. Um, long tail keywords. 
um, whether a C keyword is modifier, key, modifiers on keywords, long tail, examples of long tail keywords. And of course, you've seen that with the example of face mask. So face mask. Um, now we could do it. Obviously, we could do the same thing. I uh, repeat the same process with pampering products. Now, I think with pampering products, we probably would want to pick individual products. Uh, I think that would make things a little easier. So, all right. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and stop sharing the screen. I'm going to say hello. And cheers. Here's a great coffee, great jazz, and keyword tools. Peace.